Okay, so we're going to continue on with more things. Well, like Control Net. It's not really Control Net. It's Pool ID, but we use it in a similar way to Control Net because you know first I have to spell it right. <laughs> Apply Pool ID Flux. That's what we're going to use because we're going to use the Flux version of this. People want to use it to create their own characters, right? But character consistency is not just what a, you know the body shape is like. It's mostly what the face looks like, right? So this is going to help with that concept. And we're going to tie it in with the control net thing from the previous tutorial. So let's just, let's just get it going. So this is just basically pulled out to the regular flux model here. Pull ID flux. You can just basically pull these out and let's get this one. Make sure we have the right flux pull ID model. And this is basically what, you know, it was built off of the structure of the face and all this kind of stuff. And it's a model made for faces. The Ava clip loader, this is basically something that's, it has all of the, what's needed to create character consistency, or at least to get the consistency of that face the identification of that face to consistently show up and then not just be any face while the one like this one which is the insight face loader this one specifically is used to analyze the face you can use um, I'm putting it in CUDA because I'm gonna use the GPU but I believe you can use CPU just fine it's not gonna be that big of a deal and then we need this one last one for the, the load image that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> okay. The attention mask and the prior image thing, we're not really going to go into that uh, because we're not going to use that for this particular one. I wanted to stay focused on what we're going to do. Let's just build out the workflow really quickly if we can. So as you can see, this is basically what you would need to create this. Oh, and I'm going to use a different image. Use this guy right here. There we go. Get a sumo guy in there. So this is basically what's required to make this thing run. And it's pretty straightforward. There's not going to be anything like too, I guess, complicated about this. Other than maybe trying to understand some of these parameters. But I want to talk about a little bit of the, the steps on the case app or how it affects it too. Let's just say a sumo wrestler wearing a red loin cloth. I know the actual term is fundoshi, <laughs> but I don't think this thing actually knows what a fundoshi is. So I'm not going to say that. All right, let's just get it going really quick. The other parameters that are part of this, some of them, I still to this day, I don't necessarily understand what they do and how they work because they don't seem to have too much of an effect on anything. The major ones you're going to focus on are the weight. All right, there you go. That's, that's, let's, let's zoom in a little bit. So it made the sumo wrestler, right? He's not, I don't want, he's not fat though. He's like really like problem or not, but we're just going to do that anyways. So as you can see, looking at the face, right? If you look at it, it does kind of look like it's been kind of cut and pasted onto the character. I don't necessarily like that because, oh my goodness, what are you doing? Um, no, let's not do that one and say we did. <laughs> oh man, well, we need to stick to animals. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't really do. Let's do it one more time. Now that I set it to fix, hopefully he won't, you know, <laughs> grab his teats again. Because that's not what I want. I don't even know why that's in there. Like, why? <laughs> like, why? <laughs> All right, there we go. So, there's that. So, this one's not so bad as the other one, I think. But you'll notice that it kind of looks like it's kind of like 
not blending as much as that you would at least I would like it to blend so this is where you can talk about weight you can also talk about the start end at I think is one thing that'll affect it as well but usually when you mess with this one it messes with the expression so let's say we take this at 5.5 right so which is not necessarily what you want to do because unless you little there's really no real control over that expression there's another thing you can use related to something else um, that we can talk about later that deals with this more in depth about messing with its expressions and see this really just as you can see now you can't really identify it as the same face and that's probably the reason why it seems like it messes with the expression so I wouldn't mess with that too much unless you don't care about pulling the ID of the face which is the whole point of this whole thing right okay so instead of doing that really you just want to mess with the weight of it a little bit more and you'll see that it'll stop making it look like it's pasting it on top of it because that's the only thing that having it up at one I don't like is that it becomes less fluid especially when you get like a more realistic type of image and I want to see if we'll see if we can make a comparison image here All right, I'm doing it I'm copying this and then I'm just gonna make a duplicate with all the stuff attached to it right is the problem So I just want to see how much we're actually going to change it and do a comparison between that so that way you can see it. But it's basically running the same thing. I just don't want it to run on this one anymore. All right. Let's try it again. We're trying to do this thing where we're, we're wanting it to, to blend in with the figure without looking like it's pasted on there like a Photoshop type thing. That's the only thing I don't really like about some of the things that Pull ID does. You see, that's pretty, still pretty high. Let's go all the way down. See what happens then. But there's also another thing that when the when you're doing this, adjusting the steps here, there's actually like an amount that's too low. Like whenever you start putting more and more stuff like parameters, especially like stuff like this and control net, when you have the steps too low it starts to like not be able to interpret it well enough some of it might be a little bit of preference but as you can see like if you look at the way the faces and the color is on the face as well as the color of the face as the body is right now when I made it lower you see the it starts to match up more with the hues if you can see like the darkness of the face now it starts to match up more with the darkness of the body. I don't necessarily like this tattoo thing or whatever, whatever's trying to pop up here, but I could always, you know, take that out easily and paint that out like, like nothing. It did change up the body itself, but again, I like the way it blends better when I take that down. Now, you can start to see a little bit of changes in the face itself at that point, because this is at, what, 6.65? Right? Is it 0.65? Yeah, 0.65. And then you can also look at let's look at the actual reference image, to see how closely related it is. So it's definitely more like like the image the guy here than it is like this one. So 6.5 might be too low. Another thing, let's push up the steps a little bit more that might help so just remember too whenever you're doing the when you're taking down the weight of whatever thing you're taking out if you're taking down the weight of this pull ID thing right that means this thing is more prevalent now because this has been taken down so a lot of the changes are going to be still here and that includes the face okay See if we can just put it right in between. Now it's gotten to the point where I think it's less 
likely to, for you to see the differences. Like this, this kind of looks like the same guy. The lips are a little bit different. Chin's a little bit more intense. But again, it's a matter of preference on that. I think like how much you think it's blending in. You can also do the other thing, which may or may not help. Again, it's like doing the image to image thing where you just blend it all back as just another thing. You pull out a more, a, another latent image here and then try to blend them all back together without using this. But that was hit or miss because again, the idea is that you still wanna make sure the face is the same exact face. So it's kind of difficult to do that when you're trying to make sure you maintain the pull ID thing. But it doesn't blend bad, especially since right now, I don't think that's a really bad blend. It's still pretty good. It looks like it fits on the character at least. So that works. But pull ID is pretty straightforward. I don't think it's a really complicated thing to explain. And you really don't have to mess with any of these other parameters. And again, for the most part, like I haven't really seen much of a difference between all this stuff when you take all these things and change the what they look. I mean, it doesn't seem to change much of anything, if anything. The only thing that really seems to matter, and matter in a way that you really need to think about is the weight. The other stuff doesn't really seem to do much of anything. No matter how much I mess with them, I was like, they don't seem to change anything else. Now, maybe it works in tandem with some of the other parameters, but again, I don't know why you would want to use any of those other things in the sense that it might be about the image, but see, you know, I changed that and I don't see a difference to be honest. And if it's not a noticeable difference, you probably can ignore it. But anyways, this is one of the basic things that you would use to pull the face off of an image and reuse it. But what it doesn't do is allow you to turn around the head and look at a different direction and all that other stuff. And that's where you would want to be able to use control net stuff in tandem with pull ID to be able to create a full character sheet. The idea that you could take this guy and mix what he looks like from a profile view and then from you know a forward view and then from behind right and from there you can get more perception of like what this whole person looks like then we can talk about stuff like putting them in a different scenario and blah 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 but this is the beginning of that this is pull id and i just wanted to keep it focused on that so should be pretty straightforward uh, not a long tutorial, but an interesting one nonetheless. But one thing that this, you can't do with this is it has a lot of limitations on other things. Like if it's not a face that's recognizable as a human face, that's where you run into problems with this. There are other solutions for like animal faces because I know sometimes I like to use stuff like that. But this right here as is, it doesn't pull those type of things like if you were to put it like a giraffe in there and it's like that's not a human face because all face detection model things are really based upon humans except for some a few closed source things that are out there but I try to keep talking about things that are open source that you can use yourself so keep that in mind I will be uploading this workflow on the patreon so link will be in the description fully free you know to me i don't know I, I build these and i really like think like people want them the workflows for them but it's not hard to build and that's why i show you how to build it but again the real thing about this type of thing is what you can build off of it and that's the reason why i try to make them in parts so that you can see that you can build off of this you can always you know choose to upscale something or even this thing i just did here where it's like just made a comparison by like stopping one from making it a new one and seeing what the modifications are, seeing why and what changes. It's all kind of cool things you can do with this. But again, have fun with this one. This is a really cool model or whatever, but there's so much more. This is just the beginning of what it can do. Hope this was informative. If you have any questions or anything in particular you want to see, please write it in the comments because I'm really interested in what you guys want to see and what you guys would like me to talk about or explain more thoroughly. Have a nice day.